It's one thing you should never do. I don't care what the circumstances are, just don't do it. So on the other side of the intro, we're gonna talk about it. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And for those of you who've never watched my videos before, I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I also sell on other platforms as well, but mostly on eBay. And I make these videos to share my experiences or experiences of other resellers that you need to know about. And that way you don't make the same mistakes as well. So before I begin, please do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you've already subscribed, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video or if I go live. So one thing guys, you should never do, I don't care what the circumstances are, and we all make mistakes, none of us are perfect, and it's gonna happen to you at some point in your reselling career. Whether you're beginning and it's never happened to you, or if you've been reselling for quite a while, it's probably already happened to you. And that is, you make a mistake, you can't find the item that you just sold, um, maybe you miscalculated how many of that item you had, you maybe had 20, you counted 20, but you really had 19, and that 20th item sold and you can't find it anywhere. The last thing that you wanna do is to cancel the transaction as lost or broken. That is the worst, worst way to do it. And I get it, we wanna be honest, we wanna tell the truth, we wanna be honest with our buyers, and it's just not a good idea. And the reason is, if you cancel it for that reason, lost or broken, and it may be lost, it may be broken, or you just miscalculated for whatever reason, it's gonna hurt your account. And if you do it, I believe two or three times within a 12 month period, it can actually come back to haunt your account and you'll be below standard. And that's the last thing that you want. The way I would recommend handling such a thing is this, uh, contact your buyer. Guys, it's, it's so, so underrated communication with your buyer. You need to reach out be honest with them, let them know what's happened here. And of course, offer your apology and uh, you know, using, and we're probably gonna make a video on this here pretty soon, but using, there's a feature on eBay where you can maybe create like some coupon codes. Uh, it's a perfect opportunity to offer them at like a 10 to 20% coupon code, uh, but apologize. Say, hey, you know, um, this happened. You know, I thought we had 20, we only had 19, we sold out and it's totally my mistake. And for that reason, I have to cancel the transaction. Um, many, many times you're gonna get a customer that's going to be understanding and send a response back to you, okay? And then give it a few hours, maybe half a day, and then go in and cancel the transaction and put buyer requested to cancel. Because if they come back to you and say, okay, I understand, thank you for letting me know, that right there is enough to use that feature. And, and honestly, I'll use it anyway. If they don't get back to you, if you get one of these uh, non-responsive buyers, um, you know, you gotta do what you can to protect your account. Um, this is not a game. This is something that, you know, eBay has no problem penalizing the sellers. We already know that. We've talked about many different things where eBay will penalize you and me and we've done nothing wrong but because the buyer says we've done something wrong, we get, get penalized all the time. And while this may not seem right to many of you, um, I'm protecting my account. And when that time comes where I make a mistake, uh, you, you can't select that option. You cannot select cancel due to lost or damaged. You just can't do it. Because if you do, then you're hurting yourself. And this, eBay platform is hard enough to succeed on uh, as a top rated seller, even as uh, above standard. But if you fall below that because you're just being too honest or you didn't decided 
not to talk to your buyer and reach out to your buyer and hopefully the buyer will understand because in my experiences most of the buyers are good people and they will understand and um, it happens while it doesn't happen very often when it does happen you can't you can't hurt your account no matter what you cannot hurt your account so that's my my main topic I just wanted to, to remind you guys because um, it happened recently on one of our stores and Jen is a very honest person she went in and she selected uh, that option when she wasn't able to find the item that she swore she listed of course we never we never sold that item I know we, we didn't because I'd remember it and she just couldn't find it and she went in and canceled the transaction but she did it under uh, lost or damaged and I had to tell her I said you know you're gonna hurt the account if you do that if you do so many I believe it's two maybe three in a year in a 12 month period it can really hurt your account so take it from our experience take it from my experience in talking with eBay it's just something you want to avoid and there's a way around it and communication is that key to get around it so what do you guys think please hit the comments below tell me if you know hey maybe I'm wrong or tell me what you do if you've ever run into this problem as you can see behind me I got a lot of liquidation stuff here it's a lot of Roomba vacuum stuff um, as you can see also in the videos that I'm showing you right now uh, we went and picked up two pallets and uh, my miscalculation on this we just didn't have room in our we have uh, a couple SUVs and we went down there to pick it up and we just couldn't get it all in so I had to make a trip home it's 25 minutes each way just to drop off what was in my vehicle and come back and grab the rest of it and Jenna kind of just hung out and waited for me but uh, yeah so sometimes you you know you miscalculate you make mistakes today was a day of mistakes for us I'm sharing that information with you so that maybe you guys don't make the same mistakes as well so again do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel and of course we'd love for you to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified I do plan on doing a live here very soon um, maybe Sunday I'm working some things out maybe to kind of make it interesting bring in a, a guest host that will also host uh, this show with me maybe do it every week every two weeks and uh, have some type of a live discussion where we're just talking eBay reselling stuff and I think it's going to be a really good thing it's something we're working on we're talking about and I'm hopeful that we can bring that to you here real soon um, but in the meantime guys learn from me this business ain't easy and for anyone who tells you otherwise hasn't gone through a cancellation hasn't gone through a situation where they've lost uh, or damaged an item before they were able to ship it out and it's aggravating I hate doing it but we have to protect our accounts so guys I'm gonna sign off here but uh, just remember uh, no matter what anyone tells you flip it ain't easy and we're gonna see you here very soon